Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S and today I'll show you how to capture a screenshot on the device. So there's a couple of ways we can do it but we're gonna start off with finding the content that we wish to capture and as an example I'm just gonna use the let's say the second page on my home screen. So once you have that open whatever it is that you wish to ca capture all you need to do is press and hold power key and volume down so that's the first method of doing it. You'll get this animation and you have send and scroll. Now scroll is an option that I can will also show in a second, uh, but it's only accessible where you have a content that can be more well, scrollable. So that is the first way you can capture it. And then the second way is if you pull down the notification panel, you will have a screenshot button right here. Once you tap on it, it does exactly the same thing um, as when you press the volume down and power key. And now going to the scrollable screenshot, I think the best place is the settings. So there we go. Now here I can show you the other way of doing it. So when you capture a screenshot, you have now a option to scroll. When you tap on it, it starts scrolling down the list and basically capturing everything along the way. And once you're satisfied with what you have well, screenshotted, unless it reaches the end, which it did in this case. But if you don't want to go to the end, you can just tap on done and it will stop at the moment where you pressed it and save it. Now for me, it reached the end of the list, so it stopped itself. And from here, let's tap on save. And now both of those images can be uh, viewed in your gallery. So you can either go to the app or also just hold the screenshot button and this will take you straight to the screenshot folder in your gallery. As you can see in here, we have the two different screenshots that I have captured. There we go. And then the scrollable one. So that's the settings page, which you can zoom in and you can see that it is the, the settings. So that is how you would capture a screenshot on the device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.